Welcome back to episode 88 of We Want to See Your Helmet Pictures. And we, in fact, want to see your helmet pictures. So take the best pictures you can and email them to pics at greengridiron.com. Don't forget, include pictures of your helmet and your pet because once a month we're going to do those special episodes. You guys are really listening because holy cow, we got like 75 emails in a day from the last episode. So thank you so much. We appreciate it. Let's dive right into episode 88. And I'm going to start with Raymond W. And he wrote in and said, I love the video, guys. My name is Raymond and I play center and guard for Rockhampton Wolverines here in Australia. Well, thank you so much. I'm not going to do a cheesy Australian accent because I'm going to butcher it, but you sent in a picture of your team. So you have a shut F7. I like the design. This is cool. Love that TX big grill. Thank you for taking this thing outside. Nothing looks better than a helmet outside in the grass. Yeah, cool stuff, man. Thank you very much. All right, next up is Moses. Okay, so he wrote in and said, as a Christmas present, his sister made a custom helmet for his brother-in-law representing his high school in Toledo, St. Francis. All right, let's see what we got here. Big number 89, St. Francis on the back. Oh man, this is nice. This is like really, really nice. Um, yeah, the Christmas tree in the background. That's all right. We can do Christmas in what, March? No problem there. Very cool. And this is how you want to take nice photos. Really, really cool. And I tell you what, your sister knows what she's doing, man. These look great. All right, next up is Lawrence W. All right, so he sent in collages, which makes my life a lot easier because then I don't have to build the collages. He's got a Zenith helmet on here with a funky multicolored face mask, the before and afters of this F7 painted. Wow, these are intense, man. So he's onto something here. Did you guys ever see anything like this? He's taking the accents like the tectonic plates and the vent holes and the flex portion, and he's making them different colors. At first, I didn't know what to think of this, but the more I look at it, the better. Ah, I want to see some comments. Very cool, man. Thank you. All right, next up is Jude. And he says, hey, man, my name is Jude Johnson. I'm a freshman at Cedar Park High School. He plays middle linebacker and tight end. He's been a big fan of the show, and he's been watching for two years. Well, thank you, man. We really appreciate it. And he did something I love. He sent in pictures of himself wearing the helmet. And the truth is, these helmets uh, are pretty beat, <laughs> right? They're, it looks like the decals have been ripped off, or maybe you don't get decals yet. Maybe it's preseason, or maybe you have to earn them. But you guys, let Jude know what you think. What do they need to add to this helmet to make it look better? All right, let's see what Juan has to offer. Okay, so Juan has the Wildcats. This is a, a Mexican team. Yep, there it is. There's a Mexico flag on the back. Yeah, dude, get it done. American football is growing like you wouldn't believe in Mexico. We say it all the time, but you guys watch out, man. It's not just for the fans anymore. They got a lot of players. It's an older helmet. It has the ratchet strap instead of the cam lock chin strap. But thank you for taking this thing outside. You really get a, a, an eye for how nice that purple looks. Good stuff. All right, next up is Brandon. And Brandon, he's done a lot to this helmet himself. He's got a center stripe, Pac-12, the rear bumper, the front bumper, white clips, red face mask, red visor clips. Nice pictures, simple, clean, bright, if you're going to take pictures inside, make sure you turn your lights up and make sure we get to see all sides of them. All right. Next up is Clay. Now, Clay, I'm going to beat you up here. Okay. All right. You made the show, but I want everybody to know this isn't really what we want to see. Sorry, man. This is a little blurry. It's inside. It's kind of dark. I want Clay to try again because this is a really cool looking helmet, but I don't really get to see what I'm looking at. Right. So maybe make sure you clean your lens, maybe turn the lights all the way up or better yet, take this thing outside. Um, you know, I appreciate you giving it a shot, 
but I'd love a better photo. And now that I gave you those tips, try it again, please. All right, next up is Ed. See, now Ed knows what's up. He's outside. He's got this fantastic helmet. This thing is nasty. He's got the Zooty, what is that, Crusader? Nope, that's a Zooty shield on there. He's got the GG front 3D bumper. Thank you for repping our brand up there, man. Yeah, dude, really, really well done. Thank you for this submission. And next and last already is Larry. Larry M says, this is my local high school helmet. I drew the artwork, had the decals printed and put them on the helmets for his team. All right, let's see. Holy crap. Okay, well, I didn't mean it, but I saved the best for last. Beautiful, beautiful photos. These things are beautifully displayed on a stand. He set the scene with the black background, the football back there, dramatic looking. This helmet has just everything right. This is everything right about this thing. Yeah, Larry, you made my day. So thank you, everybody. We appreciate you sending in the photos. Let's keep it going. Send in the best pictures you can to pics at greengridiron.com. I want to know if it was your show, would you change anything? I'm open to suggestions. And if you made it to the end of this video, we appreciate the love and support so much. Until next time, cheers.